Hello Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node sign. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Libra. Please keep in mind that it's a general read. It will not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, please make sure to check your other placements, crosswatch or check back again. And if it does, uh, please leave me a comment uh, in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get to your energies. Let's see what are the energies for Libra. In love, please. For February 2022. For Libra. How Libra is viewing their person or situation. Let's see. We have the King of Cups. And we have the Page of Wands. At the bottom of the deck we have the Eight of Cups here. So I feel like... You are curious about someone here, Libra. You are quite curious about someone and uh, I feel like either this person really is or you are viewing them as somebody as somebody very sweet, very open, very loving, right? And uh, you are indeed very curious about it, but with the Eight of Cups here at the bottom of the deck, I feel like uh, it feels to me like you are not exactly sure if you should proceed with this relationship, whatever it might be. I'm not sure yet. The cards are not telling me if it's a past person or it's somebody uh, coming new into your life. We will uh, see as the reading goes, I guess. Right? But I definitely, I definitely can say that uh, with the page of wands here, I would say that you don't really feel that much um, for this person, at least for now, right? But I do see that you are viewing them as someone who is actually worth your attention, right? As somebody who is emotionally mature, you do have a good feeling for this person. Uh, I'm not sure, let me rephrase it, I don't want to say that you don't feel much for this person. I feel like you are not really sure if you should uh, really entertain this connection, if you should really uh, put a lot of energy into this connection just yet, even though you do like them, you do like them. Let's see how this person is viewing Libra at this time. What is in this person's mind space? We have the Seven of Swords and we have the Ace of Cups. Well, with the Ace of Cups, I could say that uh, for many of you, Oh, I was just going to say it, and now I see the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So once again, I feel like uh, right now I'm talking to Libras who, for some of you, I'm seeing two scenarios here. For some of you, this is a completely new person, somebody just entering your life here with the Ace of Cups, and they do come with love, right? Uh, and if it is so, it feels to you like you know this person for a very, very long time. We could be talking here about some kind of... Uh, past life connection, right? You feel like you know them. You feel like you met them before, right? And they feel the same towards you. For some of you, this could be a past person coming back with the new love offer towards you, right? With the seven of swords on their side, I feel like uh, whoever this person is, past or new, they are coming in very carefully. I would say it's some kind of like strategically carefully, um, right, and maybe because they're picking up on your energy of on on you being unsure how to go about this uh, situation and this connection, and it makes them to be extra careful with with what they say, with all the steps that they take, right? Um, yeah. So for now, it feels to me like there are two people who are not exactly sure about each other and. I wouldn't, once again, I'm sorry, I wouldn't say not exactly sure about each other, not exactly sure how to go about this connection, I would say. Right? So, very interesting. Let's keep going. Let's see how Libra feels about this person. What is in Libra's heart space at this time? Why are you so unsure, I want to know. We have Chariot, Cancerian energy. And we have the Ten of cups. Right, so yeah, I see Libra with the nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. 
I guess now I understand what's um, what's the hold up here on your side because I feel like at this time you actually feel very very independent. You are actually absolutely fine on your own. It's not like you need somebody in your life. You would like to have somebody, right, to share whatever it is you have, to share your gifts, to share your life, your time, your energy with. Yes, you would like to, right? And uh, with the with the chariot energy being in your heart space, paired with the ten of uh, of cups here, I do see that you do feel in your heart. You do feel that there is a potential with this person. Uh, you see them as as the king of cups and the ten of cups. Right, so you do understand it is somebody uh, very stable, emotionally stable, right? Who can actually make you happy, and in your heart you feel really a desire to move forward with this connection. And for me, for me, the chariot is a card of being very well aligned, not only with your own emotions and with your own passions, but also very well aligned with the guidance that you receive from the universe now. And I feel like uh, the guidance that you are receiving is, is very positive. So the only, actually, for the cross watcher, if you are curious, what's the holdup? It's only because uh, for Libra, right now, I feel like I'm talking to the Libra who is very, very independent and you don't need anybody in your life. So... So there is no rush for you. You would like to really take small steps. You would like to take your time to know this person better or to see how this will develop. Uh, doesn't matter if it's a, a new person or, or, or an old person. Even if it's an old person coming in with the new energy, you, Libra, view them as new. You view them as, I don't feel like you are emotionally attached uh, like to anybody right now and you are viewing everyone who comes into your life as completely new person like um, I feel like you let go a lot of uh, of a lot of painful experiences in the past you learned a lot in the past and you are actually ready to receive and to accept people as they come right without uh, without picking up any energies from from the past if there if there was some relationship from the past and now this person is coming back into your life, I feel like you are ready to view them as a completely new energy. I hope this is making sense. Now let's see what's in this person's heart space. We have Choose Freedom, which is a devil, Capricorn energy, and we have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. So you could be dealing with Capricorn or Taurus and you could have uh, this science <coughs> uh, strongly presented in your own chart. It is interesting, look, with the three of pentacles here, I feel like uh, I would say that for the most part, look how it comes to me, Libra. It comes to me like this person is actually coming towards you with, first of all, like an offer that looks more like friendship with the three of pentacles being here. But what is really in their heart, they really want... Uh, they really want something deep and something serious with you. But the thing is that um, with the devil being attached to all of that, I feel like this person is really, really careful in their um, in their new relationships or the old ones, like I said, you know. I, I also feel like actually this person coming towards you, if it's an old person, they are coming towards you with the new energy, Right, and um, maybe some things did not really work out well uh, in the past between you two. And if it's a new person, I would say that definitely this person is very, very careful entering any kind of relationships because I want to tell you, Libra, they are looking for something stable and serious. They are not looking for a fling, for one night stand, nothing like that. Right? They would like to. They would like to connect to somebody uh, who they can actually build life with together right and it makes this person to be extra careful and to the to the point where they may not even come across as flirty or even interested in you in that like romantic way right they they come across more like uh, you know let's be friends let's talk about this and that you know let's uh, let's get to know each other better and I, I don't feel like actually Libra would mind and at this point because I feel like Libra is prepared to take everything that comes into their life step by step with day by day you know with small steps no rush at all 
right? And I do, I do see this person actually wanting to do the same. I, I am a little bit, I'm a little bit concerned about this devil here because the devil is telling me that they are so, uh, so slow and so careful um, in this connection because of some kind of fears. Probably it could be that this person had a lot of like bad experiences in the past. It could be that. Uh, their their good intentions were not really reciprocated or or taken properly in the past. So I feel like for them, for them coming across as a, as your friend is some kind of defensive mechanism. I want to say, right, to just not get hurt. Well, let's see, let's see how this will go. What actions is this person going to take towards Libra? And moving forward. Let's see. We have the Ace of Wands. And we have the Nine of Cups. With the Tower being at the bottom of the deck here, I do feel like... Yeah, I feel like on moving forward, actually, this person is going to gain speed. Because I feel like the more they know you, the more they understand that uh, actually you are the one. They see you as the Nine of Cups for themselves, as, as the Hierophant and the Nine of Cups and, and the Ace of Cups, right? So they definitely do have their emotions for you are growing. And not just that, not just that, because when they look at you, they see somebody that they can actually build with, that they can actually be serious about and somebody who will take them seriously, if you will, right? And I feel like this is exactly uh, what will make this person to open up more with the Ace of um with the Ace of Wands here on this person's side, I feel like they are going to show like more passion towards you, right? They come in with a lot of passion and a lot of emotions towards you. So definitely there is going to be a communication. Definitely I don't think that this person is going to hold back, right, on what is this they want. They are going to tell you. Because I see that right now they are coming in with very, very careful steps, like testing the waters. But the more they probably communicate with you, the more they, mm, the the more time goes by. They the more they feel f more free within this connection to express themselves and to express how is that they feel. And they feel the nine of cups. They feel like you are actually their wish fulfillment if you will have them. Let's see what actions is Libra going to take towards this person on moving forward. We have the Four of Wands, and we have the Fool. Wow, with the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck, Libra. Well, yeah, I, I feel like you are going to be actually um, accepting the offer. I feel like with the, yes, with the Ace of Wands here, I feel like this person is going to to offer you something, like whatever, uh, whatever it might be, uh, to offer you some kind of steps uh, within this connection to... Um, to be, I don't know, to become official, to be their boyfriend or girlfriend, or at least to, uh, they, actually, I feel like they know what they want, and they want, uh, they want something deep, and something stable, and they want commitment in their life, right, they want somebody uh, who they can, like, plan their future with, and you actually, with the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles on your side, you, it seems like it's actually a perfect match here. And I see you, you're actually accepting this and you are being ready to take the leap of faith toward this, towards this person. So uh, actually, that is what I see in this reading. I see two actually lovely energies coming together, first slowly, but then, uh, well, the time goes and you know each other better. You're going to trust it better and you go into the... I feel like the more you discover each other, once again, I want to say this could be an old person, somebody you already know resurfacing back into your life, but they come in with completely different energy towards you. So you have to like rediscover them once again and they have to rediscover you. And the more you do that, guys, I feel like the more the both of you are um, feeling like this is it, this is it. Right, so uh, so yeah, good luck to the both of you, and uh, I hope this helped, and I hope to see you again. Bye, Libra.